What is good people? Welcome to the video. Today we are doing like an old school video in a sense for me. Plus I felt like it was a really good topic because it came to mind because I was talking to someone in my DM and they were telling me about like good and bad experiences they've had in the gym when they used to have a personal trainer. And we kind of got into the line of, for example, some personal trainers need personal trainers because they look out of shape themselves. In no way am I aiming on making this video like a fat bashing or fat shaming video. It's more a case of realism and what are your thoughts on the topic but feel free to comment down below as well so we can kind of get people talking to each other so if you haven't seen the title of the video already the question is would you have an overweight personal trainer for yourself like would you hire one because in my opinion i would never probably do that because personal trainer to me isn't like a normal teacher yes you are meant to teach someone the ways of getting in shape and nutrition and that resides in the brain that's all a knowledge center you don't need to necessarily be in shape to have knowledge of being a personal trainer However, this isn't just like a normal teacher like maths and science where you can do anything. A personal trainer, I feel like, should reflect your job. Like, for example, would you feel cool if you went to the dentist to fix your teeth and the actual dentist had some mad fucked up grill, pure rotting teeth and it was going bad? You'd look at them like, what the hell? And I feel like personal trainer is one of those jobs that falls in that category where you are literally a reflection of your job. And that's not to say you have to be shredded or ripped or anything like that. But I personally feel like you should look somewhat in shape because let's be real to become a personal trainer isn't really that extremely hard depending on what level you want to go for but just to say get level two for example it's not that really hard as long as you're really good at learning like book stuff and then can do somewhat practical exercises you can become a personal trainer but let me just state as well is that I'm not saying that once if you're overweight and you arrive to go become a personal trainer that they should literally make you stand on a body scale and go Nope, this guy is over 35% body fat. He can't be one. I'm not saying that because that would literally be some dickhead mentality. And that would be like fattest, overweightest. It would be some sort of ism. So I'm all for people, overweight, skinny, whatever, getting the knowledge. However, let's bring some realism back to it. To gain clients as a personal trainer, your body is almost like a flyer. If you don't look in shape, whether it's you're extremely skinny or you're extremely overweight, it's going to be a lot harder for you, for example, to be a personal trainer and try and help someone build muscle. Because without calling out no names, I've been to many chain gyms we have in, in Birmingham and in other cities to be honest. And I look at the board every so often just because I'm a little bit weird. And I like just looking at the personal trainer list to see who's actually is a personal trainer in this gym. Some of the guys I've seen on there just they and they say like muscle building's their speciality. I look at it and I think, wow, it's crazy that you can have a speciality and not be able to do it yourself. But then it also brings in the predicament of some people may just want to teach and not be it. They may not want to have the big physique themselves or muscular physique, but they want to teach people how to do it, which is a fairly valid point. The only problem is, is that I feel like I couldn't part with my money because one big factor that really helps a client is being motivated by the actual personal trainer. You almost need to be that good example for your actual client. Like sometimes with clients that I've had with online personal training, which I do, link down below. Often they will literally just be not motivated to do stuff and I have to like kind of motivate and go look This was me here. I've been where you've been and this is me transition. It takes time But you can do it if you look like shit It's really hard for someone else to look at you and really believe in your advice If you go to a gym and you are like the best physique person in that gym on the personal trainer list, the chances are you're probably going to do much better than the person lower down. And you having that physique isn't just for showing or whatever. It's motivation. There's people that will be your clients that will look at you and go, yo, I can't wait to try and get closer to this physique. They may not be able to 100% attain it, but the whole point is that you're meant to motivate them to even go to the gym and work out. It's not just a case of what's in your head. It's about the overall package I think a personal trainer gives. You know what I mean? You should be friendly, you should be approachable, you should be understanding, but you should also be firm as well. Don't let them get away with bullshit. And you should also be realistic in the fact that you need to maintain your physique. Can you imagine if I fell off the deep end for whatever reason with all these fitness tips I do online, right? And I got severely overweight. I'm not talking about bulking, I'm talking about severely, like big. That's big boy status, right? The end of the day, right? You wouldn't really value my opinion when it comes down to me giving you nutrition advice and training even though I've been in shape in the past but if right now I've literally lost the plot and I've just I've just fell off the cliff and I'm just looking bad shape and I feel like that is the same thing that applies to being a personal trainer and by that like some people may not like the aesthetic look they want to be the bulky broad type that is perfectly fine like that still counts to me as being somewhat conditioned because people can tell by looking at you you go to the gym 
If you're a personal trainer and people look at you and cannot tell at all you've gone to the gym, then I think there's something wrong. If you're someone that's into endurance and that may be different because you're always going to have to slim build. But if you're someone that says your speciality is muscle building and if we look at you and you don't look like you've ever really went to a gym, there's probably a problem. You know what I mean? There's a difference between the bulk swole look and just the fat Santa looking guy. And I feel like you need to make sure you're not on the side of Santa. Santa's a nice human. But you don't want Santa to be a personal trainer, do you? And for those of you that may think, TJ, you being a fat basher or a fat shamer or whatever it is, that wasn't the intention. But the question I will, I'll pose to you guys that have that brain thought right now while watching this video is, would you let an overweight person be your personal trainer for free? Let alone even paying them 30 pounds, AKA, I don't know, $45 per hour to train you. The chances are is no. If someone overweight walked up to you and said, yo, I'm an up and coming personal trainer, will you let me train you for free? The chances are you're gonna look at them like, fuck out of here, why am I gonna take your advice? And I feel like, let's be real, it, it works in the opposite way as well, not just for overweight people. Like in the opposite direction, there was some kid who was telling me about he didn't wanna go to university anymore because someone told him it's quite lucrative to become a personal trainer and he wants to become a personal trainer and get clients and blah, blah, blah. But the problem was is that he was super, super skinny and he told me specifically he wants to specialize in muscle building. He goes, basically, I want to become a personal trainer. When I finish college, I'm not going to go to university anymore. And that's going to be my new career path. And I was like, it's really hard to kind of give him the blunt truth. But I said, before you make any drastic decisions, I'm not going to university solely because someone's told you can make money being a personal trainer. I said, I'm going to be honest and say that you're very, very, very slim right now. So if your speciality wants to be muscle building, you need to spend a few years building your own physique up because you're not going to get you specifically. I'm not going to gain many clients do I want to build muscle with you because you look very skinny but your body is your your portfolio your portfolio is not there yet so if I was you personally when you want to get a job or you want to go to university I would still do that while you're training building your physique because the physique you have now I feel like still needs two three years minimum to get like a good foundation because it's very very underweight and that, it was a hard thing to say but I had to give him that real advice and say look don't think that the money is just gonna come rolling in because you're a personal trainer. If you wanna make the most money, you need to look the best, you need really good marketing strategy, but looking good is a very fundamental point of it because if you don't look the part, you're not gonna get the part. Anyways, people, I didn't want this video to be too long. It was literally just a conversation and I'm looking forward to the comments. Anyways, people, like, comment, subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, let me know.